from Appleton, Wisconsin. This is APTV. Welcome to APTV episode 481 for Thursday, March 9th, 2023. This week we have banter, updates, Big news, even bigger news, the mailbag, a teal Caveco, a contest winner, a new contest, plus new nibs on the Pilot 743, and a tree frog from Estabrook that is coming soon. Hey, Eric. Hey, Brian. Now, wait. Is it a joke or a story? It was a story. Okay. I'm it's ready. a story. So, you know, as you see outside today, it's kind of... Well, it snowed overnight. It snowed overnight. Yeah, it snowed it's overnight. kind of dreary. You know, and this morning, I, I, I tried to catch some fog. Okay, but, go for it. But I missed. You missed. <laughs> Brian. Yes. What kind of dog is the best kind of dog to take to the library? Uh, uh, some kind of retriever. A hush puppy. Oh. Brian. Yes. You have not yet seen this week's location bumper. I have not. It has not yet been filmed. Oh, but when it is, it will be. <laughs> That's a very, very good reason, then, isn't it? <laughs> the Honey Baked Ham Company. That's nice. Now, uh, have you been there? I, I actually have never been there. You've never been there, but I know you have. I you was Lisa there have been with there. Lisa. I was there with Steph, and Justin has previously been there. Oh, so I'm the only one. You're me and Dave. You and Dave. Okay, You'll Dave and I are going. You guys can run the store. The first Honey Baked Ham store opened in 1957 in Detroit, Michigan. And the company now has over 400 locations across the United wow. States. One such location is right here in Appleton on Wisconsin Avenue. Uh, that's up the street, down the block. Yeah, or, yeah that's what I would say. 1.2, 1.3 miles from here? 1.25 miles from here. Tomorrow, March 10th, <laughs> is a day very near and dear to my heart. Is it, it now? Has it right here. Is it now? International Bagpipe Day. <laughs> Do you like bagpipes? <laughs> yeah. At the risk of offending any of our bagpipe customers, I love I, bagpipes. I do. I, I really can tolerate do. them. I can tolerate. <laughs> well, when they're played well, they're fantastic. Yes, they're yes, really yes. amazing. But you have to learn. That's the problem. You got to start yeah, somewhere. Yeah, that is difficult. And yeah, a bagpipes date back to 400 BCE and are thought to have originated from Egypt. Is that why the dinosaurs died? <laughs> Yes, exactly. Start that rumor. Bagpipes were originally used to scare off enemies on the battlefield. And are the only known instrument in history to have been used in war as a weapon, quote unquote. Oh, my God. Bagpiping has become so popular that there are more bagpipe bands in the United States than there are in Scotland. That is not That's, true. That oh. is not true. <laughs> we will verify. That, is, that can't be true. Uh, oh. This Sunday, March 12th, for most of us here in the States, the return of daylight savings time. We're going to lose an hour in the early morning of Sunday the 12th because we have to spring ahead by one hour. So it's going to be darker in the morning. Sunrise will uh, be one hour later than it has been, and sunset will be one hour later than That's it has That's on Sunday. Been. That's okay. this coming Sunday the 12th. Also, this Sunday, March 12th, National Girl Scout Day and the first day of National Girl Scout Week. Just in time, too, because I picked these up I know. today. Look at these. My favorites are the Thin Mints. You, you I, do, I do like those, too. You like them all. I, I do not like them all. You don't I do like not them like them all. them all. But I do like the peanut butter patties and the trefoils, which uh, I know as shortbread. I, that's shortbread. Shortbread they've, cookies. They've changed the name. And them and then those, those do look good. And then apparently I also ordered some other some new ones I got from only last year. Thin Mints, and I will mention this because everyone already knows it, that you put them in the freezer. That's crazy that talk. No. That's cr I'm, And you eat them directly from the freezer. Every time you walk by, you just open it. Does that only apply to Thin Mints, or did, can, can I put... You can put any of them you want <laughs> in the freezer, but it works best. It works thin best with Thin Mints? Yeah. Okay. So I got my 15 boxes, and you got your 27? I didn't get 20. I, I buy cookies, and then I send some to my mother. Uh -huh. Every year I do this. Half asleep. Because right? my, mother, That's what I heard. My, my, my mother used to be um, a Girl Scout uh, day camp director for uh -huh. many, 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 many years. So I grew up with walls of these things in the, in, in the house. Oh, so. that explains something. Not so sure. I, don't, I don't know if she ever gets them, so I always send her unannounced 
So you know who founded so, Girl Scouts? No idea. Oh, okay. Founded <laughs> by Juliet Gordon Lowe in 1912, Girl Scouts prepares girls to empower themselves and promotes compassion, courage, confidence, character, leadership, entrepreneurship, and active citizenship through activities involving camping, community service, learning first aid, and earning badges by acquiring practical skills. Plus cookies. Yes. I mean, plus cookies. Should also be mentioned uh, that this coming Monday, I don't usually go out this far, but it will become clear why this coming Monday, March 13th, which is the day after we return here to Daylight Savings Time, is National Napping Day. Yeah, I'm going to need it. They stole an hour, take yeah, a nap. Yeah. That's yeah. my motto, isn't it? Always. <laughs> March 30th. I see how far in the future I went. This is just this for you. whole this whole APTV is going to be what's going on in No, the no, month this is important. This is, this, this is important. March yes. 30th is Yeah. You know this one. Yes, I do. Na- National Pencil Day. National Pencil Day. Yes. And that's why um, we are going to we're going to well, it won't be we're going to feature pencils in this month's vintage mailer. Which will come out on? On that day, which is Thursday. It's a day early. Not Friday. Yeah. Um, and if you did notice, we didn't have a, a vintage mailer in February, uh, but we will have one for March, and there will be there will be there will be some fountain pens, more than just some pencils. ballpoints. There'll, there'll be a lot. There will be there will be a good selection of, of of some pretty cool pencils. Did I see a jotter pencil? Did that exist? Or was uh, it something that looked there, like a there's color? lots of Parker pencils. Yeah, there, there's a. I actually have. Yeah, I've got. They made a, a mechanism that you can put in any jotter to turn it ah. into a pencil. Yeah, cool. That's yeah, it, it is pretty cool. It, it did look cool. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to that, and so that brings us to the end of the month. However, we continue the month of March with Women's History Month. Celebrated in March each year, Women's History Month encourages us to honor the women who came before us and fought for equality among all races and genders. Last week, as you may recall, I mentioned Eleanor Roosevelt, and you mentioned Mrs. Anderson, yes. your mother. Yes. Uh, this week, I have Steph's pick for an inspirational woman, and Steph has chosen Alice Roosevelt Longworth, daughter of Theodore Teddy Roosevelt. Teddy, okay. Teddy Roosevelt. Uh, Any particular reason why? She was longest, unconventional. Longest name. She was unconventional, and Steph uh, is inspired His by Steph is un- unconventional. unconventionality. Yes. Okay, great. I have a little bit of news here. Um, this particular piece item has been mentioned on APTV. I, I in sort the of past. don't remember mentioning this, but it's never been officially in the notes. Yes. But the last time Lisa was here, end of December. Because 10,000 oh, subscribers, yes, yes. you guys let it out of the bag. So but this is probably... I, I, don't, I don't think anybody's really... I mean, we're kind of <laughs> telling some people here, but... Uh, well, it was in the podcast because there were comments. But I'm, gonna, I'm going to officially okay. make this okay. announcement out. Uh, Anderson Penn's Appleton is moving. To a sunnier location. Uh, you haven't reviewed this, so I'm going to read it. And if you don't like what I say, you'll have to correct me. Our 10-year lease here in this shopping center, which is the city center, is expiring. We have been very happy in this location. Yeah, I love the spot. But the city center itself is being sold, and the new owners plan a complete renovation, possibly a complete demolition. We have no we idea. Have no it's, idea. That's right. Uh, so we, are, we must move. And we found a new location right here in Appleton on Wisconsin Avenue, which is... Probably 1.25 miles I think away. it's about 1.2 miles. It's yeah, in the yeah. Bell Heights Shopping Center. Um, well, it seems like we've talked about that already today. Well, that's because it's in the same place where Honey Baked Ham Honey-baked is. Yeah. So that's where we're lunching from now yes. on. Um, this will likely happen, I say, late July. Is that correct? It is probably correct. Yeah, they, they actually have, right now, they are building out the space. Um, I took kind of a, a stealthy trip over there uh, late last week. And as I showed up, so did the truck with all the drywall. Yeah, you sent me a picture. Uh-huh. That was cool. So, and I think, I th- I'm not sure what was on the back, but there's, there might have been also cement on the back of the truck because they have to pour. Yeah, they have to pour the back, pour the part, back of the, part of the third of the back quarter of the floor. So. One amazing thing about this location is it will solve a small problem we've had at this small. location. <laughs> small? It's parking. A very large problem, yes. Uh, well, you have to pay for it in downtown. And there, there's a huge parking lot. So, yeah, it's free and, parking. Yeah, and if, and if you're not from here and you don't know where to park sometimes it can take a long time to yes. find a spot and then remember how the heck you got to where you're going so and then and did i mention you have to pay for it? yes and you have to pay for it um no but this is a nice big lot right in front of the store yeah so um, we'll we'll offer validated parking at this i'll point. validate yeah, your parking yeah, absolutely yeah. absolutely um, so. There's been a rumor, uh, we don't know if we can do it yet, but we'd like to do at least a couple of podcasts in the new space 
before it's even finished, before we moved in. Yeah. That'd yeah. be kind of cool. Yes. Yeah. I don't know where we are on that. Uh, I'm, I'm sure it can happen. Probably not uh, when there's construction. Going there's on. construction going on, and they also have been using that space as storage for who knows how many years, so... They need to move some of that stuff yeah, we'll out. We'll out. But it's, it's going to be a lovely space. It's much larger. Uh, it's much larger. Um, we will try to keep the, the, the floor space, uh, sale space, kind of roughly about the same. It's a little bit more square instead of long and narrow. Um, and, uh, so well, you have but, much more room in the back of the house. We'll have more room in the back of the house for shipping and receiving and uh, creative uh, photography and an actual office for me instead of a back storage room. And uh, There will be a place for bikes. A place for bikes? We're, we're planning on bike parking. Bike parking? Inside? Inside, inside yes. All right. Yep. Yep. Well, and, that's, and that's no joke, actually. Well, <laughs> Lisa's I, pretty I, stoked, I, so. I was expecting it not to be a joke. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> <clears throat> More news, perhaps larger. And that's yes. all on you. It's all uh, on me. That's from the press release. Uh, the press so release. You can, you can paraphrase. Um, the five-year lease on our store space for AP Chicago is coming to an end. And uh, we have decided for uh, uh, many reasons, a number of reasons, uh, to close the store rather than to renew the lease. Um, our last day in Chicago, our last day of business in Chicago will be Saturday, March 25th, 2023. That's this month. That is this month in a few weeks. Um, there will be no going out of business sale um, because everything that's left there just Ooh, comes up here. Yeah. Um, it'll just simply be brought back here. Uh, it's been a very rewarding experience to have a store there. And uh, despite the 18th month closure during uh, was a, caused by the pandemic. It was a doozy, wasn't it? Uh, <laughs> it's kind of a bummer. But uh, we're truly grateful to everyone who has uh, visited, shopped, supported us. Uh, and, of course, our store here in Appleton will remain open uh, six days a week. And AndersonPens.com is 24-7. It was fun, so, wasn't it? It was it fun. It was fun. Yes, yes. We had a lot of good times there. Yeah, that's... Um Probably a good decision because what I, what you said was that Anderson Penn Chicago is closing. What I heard was Lisa's coming home. Lisa's coming home. Lisa's yeah. coming home. Yeah, so that's going to be great. Yeah, that's that's very good because she'll be here just in time to help everybody move. To the new yes, <laughs> yes, absolutely. I'm not doing that all by myself. No. So all right. Well, that's the big news. That's the big that's news. The big Let's news. move on to something fun. The mailbag. This is new. This is new. This was in this fact, was Dave's idea. Dave's idea. I said, why don't we read something from our mailbag? So I said, okay, let's do that. We get mail here at Anderson Pens, and we thought, Dave thought, it'd be nice to share some of it. We won't reveal addresses or anything like that, but if you'd like to write to us, our address can be found at the bottom of every web, every page of the website? Yes, I believe so. And it yeah. is 10 East College Avenue, Suite 112A, Appleton, Wisconsin, 54911. And you have selected a card. I have, Who's yes, this card from? Yeah, this is, uh, this is from Tim here in Wisconsin. Look Tim, at that lovely, lovely Wisconsin. car. Look at that. It's a very like, nice car. I don't know what that is, but uh, some kind of rock of some sort. Very simple message. Um, but a correct one. I it, like was, <laughs> it was nice. It was very, very succinct. Uh, in court, hashtag Inco Rimo. Thank you for being the best pen store around. Woohoo. Thank so, you, Tim. Thank you, Tim. Thank you, Tim. And now we'll take a look at the pen in your pocket while it's in your pocket, and we'll be right back. Where do pirates get their hooks? Secondhand stores. Brian. Yes. You have something over here that has got my attention. I think these have been mentioned on APTV previously, but this is the first I, I think time we mentioned they were coming. We've yeah. had them yes. here in our hands. This is a what? This is the Kaweco Sport, the Skyline Sport, Skyline Sport. in Toyama Teal. Oh, it's in its It's beautiful. It's really it's beautiful. really pretty. I am I'm, I'm fond of these blues and teals. Um, and this one is just really pretty super. Um now, we can't guarantee we're going to have these still when this is published. Yes. But we're our, getting more. Our first batch kind of came in and went, and I've got literally a, a couple left, um, but uh, more more on their way. Beautiful. Can and, I see it? it? Yes. Now, this is uh, a Skyline Sport, so Skyline it's plastic. Sport. So it's plastic, plastic, and it has the silver trim instead of the gold, but it comes with a matching box. It's the correct trim, yeah. And these are just so cool. That's a great, great pen. 
Justin will show some close-ups. The Kaveco Skyline Sport in Toyama Teal is a pocket-sized pen that features a smooth steel nib and deep, iridescent teal barrel and cap. The Kaveco Skyline Sport, like all Kaveco Sports, is short when capped, but when posted, it is a comfortable five and a quarter inches long. The cap screws on to close. The pen accepts both standard international cartridges, which are included, or a short converter, which is available separately. And the color is amazing and we should mention it has like a little there's some sort of sparkle metallic flake sparkle. to it it's very subtle in fact in fact when i first got it in i looked at it and i said well you know is that is that like dust on the pen and i tried, tried to wipe it off and it's well it does say iridescent yeah so yeah, depending this? depending on the on the lighting yeah, you it's, can catch it's it. really super cool so it's very subtle it's very sparkles nice. but it has sparkles yes. i i can verify it has sparkles rodden we call it rodden rodden <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Skyline Sport Rodden Rod. Edition. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah, these are nice pens. Very nice pocket pens. Yeah, yeah. throw in your book. Your, you put a clip backpack. on there too if you want. Yep. Yeah, I don't do clips, but you can do that. You we'll can get in. a silver clip. I can get a silver clip. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'll check that out later. <laughs> Geology rocks, but geography is where it's at. We're, I'm going to move right to the, All right. To the contest. Very good. This Very is the good. contest from last week's APTV where uh, you were asked uh, to please provide the name of a woman from history who has inspired you. And I'm simply going to read the names that we got. Okay. Because we got a lot of names. This yep. was a very good uh, contest. Maureen McTeer, a Canadian author and lawyer. Queen Elizabeth II. Dr. Kathleen Booth, a British computer scientist. Uh, scientist Marie Curie, Catherine Burr Bloggett, known for her work in surface chemistry. Um, I'm trying to remember. Uh, it has something to do with mirrors. Uh, Maya Angelou, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, Judith Polger, a Hungarian chess grandmaster. Ooh. Millie Dresselhaus, queen of carbon science. Is not oh. queen, but they call her the queen of carbon queen science. Of carbon science. Okay. Margaret or Marguerite Steiff, seamstress, who founded the Steiff Company. Oh, really? She okay. actually invented okay. the plush toy because oh. her first toy was uh, an elephant. And I think it was her nephew or grandnephew that made the first bear. Um, Angela Lansbury, Jane Goodall, Hedy Lamar. Do you know that name? Yes. What do you think of uh, who? Who was Hedy Lamar? Was she, um, she was an actress. Yes. But she was also, wasn't she also the one that was a, um, during the war, she did some, oh, what is it? A deciphering of. Uh, I'm not familiar with that. It's possible. Uh, she was an actor. Oh. Uh, but she was high-end, uh, she was a scientist. She ha- yes. she invented what was necessary for us to now have Wi-Fi, GPS, and Bluetooth. We use her invention every day. Uh, and, Fantastic. Uh, I don't know when she was an actor, uh, golden age, so I suppose the mm-hmm. 20s, beautiful, very well-known for her time. But I think she, as an actor, she, her memory is probably fading. But we don't mention her enough for the Wi Fi yeah, GPS. Yeah, and the right, right. We should, yeah, yeah. Malala Yousafzai, winner of the 2014 Nobel Peace Prize, Palestinian young lady, probably did not pronounce her name correctly. Lisa Anderson got a mention. Who? who? Lisa Anderson. <laughs> who mentioned? Did Lisa mention well, herself? That'll be in the comments. That'll be in the I'll comments. Okay, that. all right. Very good. Doris Lessing, novelist, Eleanor of Aquitaine. Also one of my favorites. Queen of France, then the Queen of England, plus the Duchess of Aquitaine. How do you become Queen of France and then Queen First of you marry one king, then you marry the other. <laughs> oh, I suppose, yeah. Admiral Grace Hopper, U.S. Navy Rear Admiral and computer scientist and mathematician. Pat Benatar, singer-songwriter. Oh, yeah. Agatha Christie, novelist. Margaret Brown, American socialite and philanthropist. Pro- pro- you probably know her as uh, the unsinkable... Uh, Molly Brown, the one on the Titanic. Hmm. She didn't. Oh. She didn't like the name Molly Brown. Uh, Octavia Butler, author, Queen. I don't know how to say that. Do you know how to say that? La- uh, Latifa. <laughs> we should put Queen Latifa. <laughs> Bo- Bo- I, don't, I have no idea. Dika, Boduka, Bo- uh, Warrior Queen of ancient British Iseni tribe 
Dorothy Day, American journalist, Rosa Parks, Absolutely. Julia Child, Katherine Johnson, American mathemat mathematician, uh, put us on the moon by checking NASA's work. <laughs> That's yeah, and there was a whole group of, of women yeah. who were involved in putting men on the moon. Those women are amazing. Aren't they, they are. Great. We should have a whole month set aside. <laughs> Wangari Matai, environmental and political activist, first African woman to win the Nobel Peace Prize. Jane Goodall. Nice. Lee Miller, American photographer and photojournalist. Helen Petrona Blavavsky, Russian mystic and author. Michelle Obama. Mm -hmm. Ada Lovelace, English mathematician, invented mechanical general purpose computer. First computer. Mechanical. Corazon Aquino, former president of the Philippines, oh, and yeah. Eleanor Roosevelt. This is a fantastic list of inspira inspirational women. Uh, some of the names I am familiar with and some I am not. Uh, I will put a list of these names in the comments, in the description down below, hopefully in alphabetical <laughs> order, with a link to each one's Wikipedia right. page. Because I, 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 I was starting to count the number I knew and then it was... Yeah. <laughs> Pop quiz next time. week. Pop quiz. Oh my goodness. I do have some comments. Summer Pearls says, Julia Child inspired me as a teenager by making French cuisine look accessible and cooking a joyful endeavor. It has remained a lifelong pleasure. Uh, the only thing I know about Julia Child is the movie they made about her life. Uh, she doesn't like black pepper. I didn't, if I didn't you, know that. If you've, if you've ever heard her little bit about pepper, white pepper, not black pepper. Not black pepper. No black okay. specks. Learn something new. Charles it's says, hilarious. Rosa Parks taught me to keep going, even when I didn't feel like it. Carol Brosman says, women in history would be, woman, woman in history would be Michelle Obama and Eric. Oh, look what she added. That pink <laughs> shirt is beautiful on you. Great color. <laughs> great color for you. Love it. Steve Moss says, Lisa Anderson has always inspired me, especially when it comes to buying really nice pants. <laughs> Amy de hmm, Boutlier, Boutlier, NASA mathematician Kathleen John, Catherine Johnson, her autobiography, Reaching for the Moon, is fascinating. And we have a winner. Great. Winner of this week's $20 credit to your Anderson Pens account is Karen Webster, who commented with Hedy Lamarr. Uh, a beautiful woman actress and inventor, she invented a communication system that formed unbreakable codes to prevent messages from being intercepted. That might be I what knew, you're talking about. I knew there was something. This invention led to what we know, uh, what we know as Wi-Fi, without which I could not view the Anderson Penn's podcast. Thank you, Eddie. Um, and uh, Karen, please write to me, eric at andersonpens.com, and I'll take care of getting that $20 credit onto your account. There is a new contest for this week. By the way, we should tell everyone, Lisa's going to be here next week. Yes. Not because the store has closed already, but she's just going to be here. You're going to be here. Yep. Um, although it will be closed that day. Um, so you and Lisa will be able to read out the results of this one. I'm going to make people count again. I'm going to have to do this. It's been a while since we've counted anything. So this week's, to enter this week's contest survey, you have to let us know in the comments how many pens you currently have inked. Does that count pens that are yes. inked? but? That need to be cleaned? Yes. If you have an ink that, uh, a pen that is run out of ink, but you haven't cleaned it yet, it's still ink. That's what it counts as. So you've got 322, I already counted. On my desk. <laughs> <laughs> On my desk. Yeah, look in your drawers, because that's where mine are going to be. It's in my drawer. Oh, yeah, I meant to clean that, but that's going to count as one. So I'll have my number ready for next week. You'll have your number. I'll, okay. I'll get Lisa to think about I was this. I actually I was gonna clean some of my pens yesterday because I looked on my desk and I have this ridiculous number of pens that Isn't are just that true there. every day but like once every couple of years I clean it up oh, and then you? I get it down to like you know a manageable level and well here's your opportunity and then you can give us the before and after numbers okay all right Brian. Yes. This is very exciting. It is I exciting. I know nothing about it, but it's very exciting. You're going to have to tell us. <laughs> and when, when he all says he knows it. nothing about it, there's literally a piece of paper that says Brian, Brian question mark. Question mark. <laughs> I know nothing about it, uh, but I like the idea. I heard about these actually in, gosh, when was it? Last year sometime. I forget when it was. Uh, and so I knew this was coming. Um, it was supposed to, I think, come last year, but they didn't. Pilot Custom 743, now coming to the U.S. Uh, with new to the U.S. nips. So that's so, what's the exciting part. Um, yeah. So they're, uh, I, I've kind of divided them up into two groups. Um, 
but the entire nib range is extra fine, fine, medium, broad, double broad, and the one everybody wants, the FA Falcon. Um, these are the 743 is going to be coming in uh, solid black with gold trim. Um, it's a number 15 size, uh, 14 karat nib, con 70 uh, converter or cartridge, and uh, it's going to be essentially the same price as the the 823. So the same nib size, same pen. Interesting. Um, Interesting. But uh, uh, yes, with the, the, the FA, FA nib, I like. Yeah, I, I might even want to play with the, the double, double broad. broad. Is, <laughs> Yeah, I think it's going to be fun too. So um, we're going to get in some of the special nibs first. They actually find the double rod, the FA. Okay. And then uh, the, the, the regular ones will be coming in uh, shortly after. But what a cool pen this is going to be. I'm, I'm looking forward to the FA. Anything with an FA nib. Is yeah, and, it's in, and while it's been known that you can get a number 15 FA nib, uh, Japan actually kind of danced around it for a while because I would I would talk I would talk to the, the folks at Pilot and they're like no, they, they don't say it exists well it exists. it exists we knew it exists we have pictures of it I saw it in person I've never used it but I'm I'm eager to see how the larger nib is going to compare yeah. to the number 10 size that's in the 912 um, it's going to be so it's going to be cool gonna be. it's going to be uh, it's going to be neat so I'm looking forward to that those, uh, those should coming be coming soon. they're coming this month sometime this month sometime yeah I think the 15th they were going to start to ship Cool. cool. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. This one, I know a little something about. You do, you have uh, at least at least two sentences. Yes, there. at least this is also coming soon. It's the Estherbrook Tree Frog Page Clip. Yes. Yep. Because of their keen ability to thrive and adapt to new situations, the tree frog is seen as a symbol of good luck. Did not know that. With this in mind, we hope you'll find inspiration in this desk accessory to thrive, adapt, and overcome any obstacle in your way. Use it as a page clip to keep your journal open for all day creating, writing, and sketching, while keeping in mind the resilience of the tree frog throughout the day. Another accessory from Mr. Brook that yeah. is coming soon. It's kind of cute. It's kind of cute. Probably coming quickly, too. Yes, I'm sure it's... Uh, I haven't received the shipping notification, but by the time you... By the time this like, airs, really? we very well may have it. Interesting looking frog, too. Yeah, it's uh, cute. It's cute. Yeah. So. We're supposed to go to that uh, thing on the tripod now. Right there. Thanks okay. for joining us. Tune in next time for more talk about pens, ink, and paper. You can check us out on social media as Anderson Pens. Is there a store? There oh, is for a for few now. more weeks. Yes. Uh, ground floor of the Palmer House Hilton. Uh, open seven days a week. Please note that there may be some minor changes. Uh, there are some minor changes. They're at the website. They're on the, they're they're on website. the website. Yep. And Google Maps knows all about them. Okay. Because, yes, Lisa's coming up uh, a couple of days uh, next week. Uh, what's the Chicago, what's the website? Chicago.AndersonPens.com. Please like this video and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel before we talk about your pen. No, let's talk about your pen. Let's talk about your pen. Let's talk about your pen. I know what that is. This is this is a classic. Uh, I've been using this actually in my Hobonichi, which I, I do use every day. Oh, good. This year, you. only I've used one? only one pen. Only one Hobonichi. I only have one Hobonichi. <laughs> no, five. Only one. <laughs> I have five. Uh, this is my uh, my Fresca Sailor Fresca King of Pen. It's really it's, just. I just. It's, it's just such beautiful. a happy color. It's beautiful. Um, it is a nice color. And discontinued. And discontinued. Discontinued, yeah. but yeah. Uh, they had a winner with that one. That was good. And didn't just it didn't only come in King of Pen size. No, it came in a large in uh, 1911 standard. Yeah. I have the large version. I too, had the large. So. At one point, I had the large. You had the large with, with the, the Concord, Concord ribbon. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. That has uh, since flown the coop. Well, it belongs to Ziza now. Oh, okay. <laughs> She steals my pens. <laughs> she, she does. I, I don't have any words of wisdom, but I, I do have something I find very interesting. <laughs> Justin's already laughing. He knows. He doesn't know. He does not. He has no idea where I'm going. I like words. Yes. So I came yes. across something interesting. I thought I would share it, and it has to do with penguins. <laughs> but we'll get there. <laughs> penguins. The skin of penguins secretes a special kind of grease that permeates their feathers okay, so yeah. that when they're swimming in those waters they and they don't warm. get as cold. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's where the saying comes from. You missed rehearsal. Just say what saying. What's what saying? <laughs> the oily bird gets the warm. Oh, yeah.